bring this for you. Get some spider silk. <laughs> or poison. Funny thing is, I have plenty of spider silk. Just no weaver. Can Meryn not do it? You can get her to no. do that for you. She can't. The matron doesn't know someone who can work with spider silk. Oh, uh... I don't know, maybe, but... I feel like... You want to do something big with this favor? What I accomplished is more than that. <clears throat> sure. Hmm. I want to cause a power imbalance. Some way, somehow, maybe not killing someone, but taking something. Planting evidence somewhere it shouldn't be. The issue with that, though, is like I said, it's all a big card thing. If we tilt or too far one way, everything falls. We've been carefully planning things for months, trying to wait for things to be in the right position. And if things start falling everywhere, we don't know where they're going to land. That's the what if I set up a scheduled capture, then? <clears throat> well, I don't want you to do it right away, but I will <clears throat> let you know when. At that point, you can just ask to wait for giving you a favor, right? If it's going to be a delayed thing. I guess. Wouldn't give her time to think about it and try yeah. to work against me. Maybe I will tell her to wait, then, until I can sit down with you, your father, Vesrin. Everyone who is aware of the current politics, I just don't know enough to make any moves. I agree, that's the... I know a lot, but I don't have all the pieces. That's the best case scenario, but the question is whether or not she'd allow it, isn't it? I guess I'll find out tonight. It may come off as... <clears throat> mature. I don't know. I should know what I want, but... I just... I have been playing pretend this whole time. Present it in a way that's... You're considering your options. I don't necessarily need anything from you right now, but can I take, like, a rain check? <laughs> that would suck. That would not go well. <sighs> Arnulf, please wake up! <laughs> Sometimes it works. Drow magic's been dry lately. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Just so you're aware, among myself and Clifford, being the people that were ID'd at being at uh, Corsetto last night was a drow in a black cloak. So, they haven't ID'd you specifically. I'm more incognito <clears throat> in this yeah, I know, by right? this point. I know. <laughs> I want Just to fucking you die. Uh... You ever just sigh so deep it's like your soul's leaving your fucking rib cage? My rib cage was open last night, so yeah. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> that was. I don't remember much mm. of it. I don't like seeing that. Mm. Last I remember was um, jumping between you and that guy with the mace. And then it's all kind of <laughs> spotty. That is how that happened, isn't it? You fool. Just kind of happened. As usual. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. You probably would have been fine. I'm the unlucky one. You may be very unlucky, Kylo, but... I feel like it balances out. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I'm not dead, so that is lucky. I mean, and you are around me. 
I tend to draw <coughs> bad things and bad happenings wherever I go. It's getting ridiculous, honestly. Maybe you should hang out with the matron more then. No, thank you. <laughs> that woman is abysmal. I hate her. Oh yeah. She Why? reminds me of everything I hated being down there. Up here, I can pretend like I was something down there, I guess. But when I was down there, I was nothing. It's nice to be able to talk to her in a way that would get me... God, beaten. I don't know. I like playing, playing pretend up here. Like I'm a big bad drow. Free thinking. That's certainly how they see you. <clears throat> she probably sees me as a business opportunity. Yet she has no idea what she's fucking dealing with. It's... it's... It's comical. At this point, because if I even uttered my name... To them... She would either capture me and drag me back down to the Underdark this very moment, or she'd kill me on the spot. Maybe she'd run in fear, I don't know. If she's superstitious. And you said you were nothing down there. Nothing of importance. A bad omen. The cursed child. What other fucking stupid names they would come up with? Dolaloth. That's not even my last name. Means from shadows, right? From darkness, yes. I remember you told me that way back in Ledford. You remembered? We were at the tavern at the time. Yeah. We were in that. I used to think it door. was mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used to think it was mean, that name, but then when that fucking parasite screamed in my face how there's. Something dark on my soul. It all clicked. Maybe they weren't just mean names. Maybe those people were actually scared of me. There he is. <gasps> it worked! You know we got an ID magic. last night, right? No, I've been out of town all day. What do you mean? <clears throat> Apparently yeah. a witness saw... Um, they successfully identified you, myself, and Clifford had being at a... Uh, Cosetto last night. They already dragged Clifford and myself up into the keep to interrogate us about it. Nothing stuck, though. <clears throat> Just... So they probably have vague descriptions. Uh, yeah, they definitely ID'd um, the apprentice blacksmith, the blacksmith, and the brewmaster, as well as a drow wearing black, a knight wearing brown, and a knight wearing pink. So... Us three are the only ones that were specifically identified. So just have a story ready. I said I fell down the stairs here. <laughs> um, I think Clifford said something Plenty of old men. They can't prove that I was there and I will not tell them I was there. Yeah, same. I did much the same. <clears throat> we have to go to a meeting soon. We have a meeting? No. The bloodhound. Oh. Uh. Do I get to go on that? I don't know if that's a good idea, sir. Fuck. Can you... Uh, help me? <laughs> uh, yeah. I won't make a joke about it, since you're like crippled or whatever. Thanks. <sighs> Closing my eyes. 
Shriek? Yeah. What happened? Um, gods came in and raided the place again. Your shoulder strap. Yeah, I'm just. Yep. Yeah. Tried to save what we could. I have the pieces in my room. Olana was quick enough to grab any of the uh, sensitive material from upstairs, but. We couldn't get everything. I'm sorry. I'm gonna wait downstairs. Thanks. Closing your bedroom door. <clears throat> we tied it up as best as we could. The guards. <clears throat> Let me think really hard. <clears throat> Don't remember. I don't know. Do you? I wasn't here. I don't think I got names. But um, Marco was here as well. He was trying to lead them off as best he could. you downstairs. Did I fasten it right? It was a little loose on the back, but you were rushing. Do you mind? No. <laughs> hey! Can you, uh... Can you put this on this? <clears throat> Do what on barbarians. what? Uh... It's holding up a halberd with a broken haft and a halberd haft. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll leave it up front. Leave him in the smithy, yeah. <laughs> How much? Since we have all the materials and such, uh, 50 copper. It's standard work order. Here. Thanks. All right, I'll leave it out. <clears throat> For you. You got it. Bye, Sparkle. Thanks. Yeah, man. Came to check up on you. Yeah. Doing okay. Doing Just okay? A little sore. You know how it is. I did some. Light work repairing the bowyer's roof, just to double check something. You seem to be the only one rebuilding this town. I'm not the only one. Uh, but just to tell you, <laughs> no noticeable footprints on the roofs right. that I saw. Mm. So someone just left no trace from what I could see. Yeah. We're not trying to worry too much about it right now with everything else going on, but thanks for letting us know. Of course. <laughs> right, just want to let you know. Also, <clears throat> for the thing that I talked to you all about, uh, the ship, um, don't know how well that's going to go now that, well, last night. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I'm still really foggy on last night, so I... Well, anyway, um, y'all are probably doing a thing. Am I interrupting a thing? I'm about to head out for a um, meeting, I guess, or, or something. I don't... A meeting? Oh. 
Uh, do you need my help with anything? I don't know. Tazim's coming down in a second. You can ask oh. him. Again, I'm oh. a little spotty on I'm what sorry. we're doing. <clears throat> That's all right. We'll just improvise. Hi. <laughs> That's normally what I do, yeah. <clears throat> Think on the spot. Hey. Ouch. I don't need massages. Tang, how are you? Hello. So whose ass did they want to eat this time? What? 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 <laughs> the fact that you are missing yeah, a door? Yeah, just let yourselves in, guys. Yeah. Oh, because there's, there's no, no door. door. There's no give door. Give me, give I, me two we seconds. We opened the door for them, I don't know. No one told me there was we... no door. I was in the process there of There is fixing. a door there. No, there's yeah. always been a door there. <laughs> There never the door wasn't a door was there. down earlier today. Okay. Wait, who broke it down? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, damn. I, Are we losing our minds? I, guess Shereen, the is, is I think it was the guards when they were looking the on the roof. I think that's when they broke it down. Right. Haven't. If they had knocked, I would have opened it for them, of course. We're hallucinating. But... There's not a Just, door there. He opened it for them. We're crazy. Okay. Anyway, I fixed the door. Oh my god. <laughs> There is a door! Yeah. That is, like, the fifth fucking time that right door right. has needed to be repaired. <clears throat> this is how we I should just take cars. it off the fucking hinges yeah. at this point. We want to run iron through Leave it. it off. I, I need a roll. <laughs> but yes. Put a fucking steel door there. Good luck, Am I just bitches. inside or outside? I don't know, what are you, what are you doing? You see, you see me repairing the door. I need a roll. I'm here to pay you. I need to take a second. Uh, I'm here to let your father know about an order. Just, take I need a to be take, oh. take your moment. Yeah. With a come, come sit six. Down, come sit down. You, you're hammering hard, and, and as you're going and you. trying to fix the door, it's been fixed many times, and you're starting to realize the mold on the walls is actually like ruined almost at this point. It, like, mm. the, the entire frame needs to be fixed at this point, the amount of times it's been broken down. And as you've been trying to hammer away and fix it, you're able to kind of stick the door in place, but that's about it. Uh, and you realize, you, while you're trying to get everything to work, you accidentally split the wood to your hammer. Oh my fucking god. What? What was that? I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what? This is a fucking nightmare of a day already. I regret waking up. It's fine. It's a fun house. Welcome to the fun house. I need a new hammer. I think I'm gonna... You uh. broke your hammer? I fixed that door Whoa. 20 times. Oh. It's... <laughs> I if you look to the hammer, the like handle this. is split. But this. the metal is still there perfectly fine. It's just the wood. I'm just gonna fucking shove it on a on another piece of wood. Right. Come over here. Broker, get your own. <coughs> oh, will you Hi. talk to uh, at all? I don't want to talk about it again. Yes. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure. Tazim, when can I expect you and your son back for a talk? If we're not murdered, I don't know. <coughs> well, now I am coming with you, or at least tailing behind. You know I can. You won't even see me. He might see you. Good. I'll wear my blacks. Not good. If you're going to follow, stay out of sight. Understood. I'll go change. Oh, it doesn't just rain, it pours here. It pours everywhere, Tang, get used to it. It happens everywhere we go. You are the most endurant of us all. Be careful wearing that in here. It's fun. Like, city-wise. Actually, is correct. 
Can you put it in a pack? And we'll change outside of town. You can just take the tab out of. looking for a knight in white and yep. pink. Yep. And a knight with a brown hood. <clears throat> yeah. This man, the bloodhound, he's an expert at what he does. We don't stand a chance. So <clears throat> need to negotiate. I don't know what he wants or why. I'm really figure it out. Foggy from yesterday. We're meeting the bloodhound. The cross keys in. Right, he called us out, did he? Yes, he did. Okay. And if we don't go there and it comes here, we could put other people in danger. And I'm not willing to do that. Okay. Get it saddled up on the back of a horse. Come back in here when you're mm -hmm. ready. Well, whatever the hell this turns into, I hope this is <coughs> back here alive. Well, we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, the Capitano is involved in some deep shit. And us mitigating his drugs coming in and out has gotten the ire of some large family in the Coracadas. They've hired this bloodhound. Some elite mercenary that I've never heard of, but apparently is a ghost story to other mercs around here. No one's seen his face, no one knows who he is. He's never been seen without his armor. People swear up and down that he's a human, but he's been around for hundreds of years, so who knows? Good to go. Great. Excellent. I assume that's not still there. No. No. I'm gonna go upstairs and get all done, and then we're going to leave. <clears throat> Anyone want the last of the tea? Is it drugged? No, it's not drugged. Then no, thanks. Yes. Okay. But he's also going. That raises more questions. I'll uh, find a ghost. Go. So I'm not sure that. Good. That's You're learning. Point. Tighten my chest, please. As tight as you can. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm really bad at this. I don't. No, it needs to be tight. Just... Oh. All I need to do is blow a kiss, the right? The thing is, if I just <laughs> make it back, then I'm not able to get what I'm paying Sorry. for anyway. It's okay. We'll keep everything together. That's the point. Don't go in. Thank okay. you. You held by Maybe... stitches. I mean, oh, fuck it, never mind. I was identified by him as well. Who expect me there? Kazim's hmm. <clears throat> looking for you upstairs. Hey. Didn't realize there was a fucking birthday party in here. Oh, you have no idea. Is it? <clears throat> so your oh, no, birthday? My birthday was last no. week. Happy belated. Thank you. I'm 27. Wow, that's Ew. ancient. <laughs> what? This is an individual by the name of the Bloodhound, an expert. <sighs> Some large family here mm. caught wind of us stopping this drug movement. Two things. We're out mad. First, make sure you all make it back. And second, Grab your horse. if you do make it back, which you better as sure as hell do. Grab your horses, we're leaving. Hi, Malone. Left something on the table for you to check out. Sure. Just in case I'm not here when you get back anyway. Sorry about last night. It won't happen. Well, it might happen again. Remember, they're looking for a drug. 
Easy boy, it's okay. Oh my god, she fell. Stretch it out. The other two have fallen behind a little bit. We'll wait for them. Yeah. We cannot afford to fuck this up. What's the play? The man's a mercenary. He's got to want something. Perhaps we can give him something that he wants. Go ahead and change, we'll wait. Right. So, we don't know what this Merc wants, but he's damn good at what he does. If necessary, a fighting retreat to the horses, and we fly as fast as we can back to Nodders. I'm hoping that this man, if he has been around as long as he has, is a professional. Maybe, just maybe, we can come to an accord. Not likely, but I must try. Ready, move. He's got his reputation. Good. We might be able to use that somehow. Perhaps.
Moving through the main courted area of the inn and bringing your horses back into the rear pasture, you get an almost eerie sense of deja vu from your last trip here. Everyone seemed relatively normal. No one seemed... Nothing seemed out of the ordinary as you carted your way through the courtyard. But you did feel like some eyes were on you as you passed by. Just a feeling that you can't shake. All right, listen up. This is how we're going to do things. If things go sour, a fighting retreat back to the horses. And we flee back to Nodis. We've all done this long enough. You don't cut and run. You fight and move together. We'll get to the horses. <coughs> bolt. In the event things look bad, he's got to get out. Very good. Now let's see what this man wants. Be at the ready, but not overtly hostile. One, two, three bad. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> yes? Oh. You haven't seen a man in full plate, have you? A man in full plate? Yes. Uh, I believe there's one inside there. Thank you. Yes, there. Good evening, uh, sir. How may I help you? I'm here to meet with a friend of mine. A friend of yours? Um, a name, perhaps? <clears throat> Blood uh, Oh. Next time you're doing it. Why don't you take a seat at the yeah, table yeah, across yeah, from you? Hey, so. I ordered the drinks. They should be here soon. Thank you. Of course. Oh, listen, we'll be fine. I think we can slurge a little. Thank you. <coughs> Ow. Can I help you? Listen. Get no, just open it. We've got enough to make triple what we paid for this. You let me know you it. It'll work out. Drink. The buyer's good. If you, if you find the time, Listen, the mercenary. Small, nothing too strong. What those mercenaries said, it should be a clear shot back. Make the delivery, the, we get the silver. Are you, are you, gonna, you gonna trust them what the mercenary said? Yeah. Don't mind some company, yeah? Really? Oh, not at all. Well, they they look like sort of other folks. <coughs> like they could be trusted. Thank you. They could be bandits for all you know. Don't mind me. How's your day going? Oh, my God. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, I'm gonna get you some drinks. Oh, 
He's trying to make it through the world. Right. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Oh, can we this? Bad. If it's in a public setting, we might want to talk. Ian. Keeper. You know, they don't have a little ledge. Just got up. What? I feel like walking oh, no. around a little bit, yeah. but uh, figured I'd take I a seat. I didn't ask him. Kinda nudges you subtly. Oh. The, it's not gonna change anything. His hands pointing down to his leg. Yeah. Thank you. What is this place coming to? Absolutely, sir. Just it's your problem. Thank you. It'll be fine. There's going to be a shit in the tavern in Nautis. Just a few drinks. Ales for a lot of us. Of course. <laughs> I take it you Just are the blacksmith. You are correct, son. What can I do for you? There are a few things you can do for me. Firstly, you were the last person to see some rather extensive goods and coin that belonged to someone who would very much like to see it returned to them. Do you understand what I'm asking about? Perhaps I'm not entirely sure. Mind if I sit? We'll go right ahead. It sounds like you might be talking about something being used by the local government as evidence of corruption in the region. <laughs> the local government is little of my concern. I'm after stolen goods. And they're after proof. This is about proof. Come and have to spend. I see. All right, everyone, we're closing up for the night. Sorry, it is what? getting oh, late. So the rest of you will need to go home. Oh, no. oh, come on, oh, come on, I will offer free drink. drinks around for tomorrow. I understand, uh, but I'm tells. Uh, I will uh, buy you absolutely. I'm not paying for this. Stupid. I will make sure everyone is accommodated. I will see you all tomorrow. Screw this, I'm going uh -huh. to casino. There you are, oh come on. <laughs> I am not an unreasonable man. But I am here to do a job, uh, one that I will not see trifled with. So, if you can offer me, first of all, let me just say, very sloppy work. I know that you were looking for the cards. You were seen here by several people. I know you drove those cards back into Nautis, one of which covered in blood. I want to know what you did uh, with the family's product. And then perhaps we can discuss other things. It seems you have not brought it with you. I do not see it, and I doubt it's outside. It is somewhere waiting to be picked up at the right time by the custodians' evidence of corruption in the region. <laughs> Really? And the yes. 80 or so silver? I think we both know where the 80 or so silver is gone. So you failed to bring me what I asked you for. And I made it very clear what the price for failure was. 
someone with Unless you have something in bed. It would be very foolish of me to bring everything to a man who apparently could kill everyone in this room and take it anyway without negotiating. My reputation certainly precedes me. But well, do not the take me for a monster. Terrified. If they should have been, rightly so, because they are all dead now for failing to do what they were supposed to do. Dead by our hands, but yes, I see a point. Dead one way or another. A promise I make to those who fail. I am not here to negotiate with you or play politics on behalf of the Nobles family. Looks like a copper coin. But they are interested in what's going on here and ensuring that things don't get out of hand, of which they clearly have. I know who you two are. Back up, I suppose. Trusted associates. Almost done. <laughs> Let me see. So then, <clears throat> you have what I'm looking for. And I'd really rather not kill you before I have what I came for. What is this? What is the point of you coming here empty-handed? What did you hope to gain? To get a measure of the man who wants to negotiate. If I had brought it here and you weren't reasonable, you would just kill us and take it. At least with us not having it. Regardless, if you kill us, you still fail. Uh, this is there? true, and I will not come back empty-handed. Yeah. Also, take a look at this. Yeah, left it. in this region. Hmm. Well, I know quite a few things have been distance. happening well, recently that they've shaken the foundations of crime, you know this. It's something that my employers are very interested in. I take it you're involved somehow, especially if you're looking around to loot spice trades. Well, I never said that. I am seeking to aid the barons of this region and prevent instability, yes. Seven, it's very much so complex to play so politics with these barons and lords. One of them would stab each other in the back, given the chance. You know this. <laughs> this? Perhaps so. But when you have people like this captain around, that rip and tear at everyone around them, even those who are not involved, someone has to do something. So what is your proposal then? I take it... What? You want me to do something about this? In exchange for getting what I came here for? I could very much make sure that you get what it is that you're looking for. But rather than your physical assistance, perhaps that of your reputation. Hey, where are the, uh, Obviously, the your families are interested in continued meddling here. We don't want that. Hey, um, if you're able to go back with now, everything that is owed, on... If they forget clothes and we would want them to other not equipment, come how long does it take back. before we can keep it for ourselves? I guess, uh, store it upstairs. 
notice this is no province, and this loss alone came as an unexpected blow to their operation. I don't think they are keen on continuing a bad purchase. I cannot speak for them, though. Not truly. You'll have to speak with one of the sons. I thought you could speak with the father. But it seems this place is more trouble than it's worth. For now. There's a lot of drunk idiots that just leave their shit here. Certainly, being here as little as I have. Noticing the robber baron, the orcs, the vipex, and the guardsmen themselves. I've been proven that this place is about to tear itself apart. That much is very clear. I've seen dynasties on the brink before. This one is about to burst. Hardly working. If you all walk out of this unscathed, I would not suggest you stay here. I doubt you could fix this mess. <laughs> <You'd be surprised. laughs> Perhaps there is one thing. You say you want the product back, the coin, that would not be too difficult. It's somewhere safe and hidden and meant to be used to prove to the powers that be what is happening right under their noses. But in time, there may be someone of equal skill to your own. Those are threats to these people in this province. I'm sure you could stay here and have to hunt for what you're looking for, and perhaps trying to get it out of us, and if you don't, then you have to search for the goods and coin yourself, and it is a whole process. I'm sure you're capable, but it will take time. Or, we can come to some sort of deal or an accord, where perhaps you get what you need in a very short term. You look efficient as you already are. Build on your reputation. Do you know I, perhaps, I earned the name, the Bloodhound? Yes, I have been told quite a bit by those who. This because came once I have your scent, good luck getting away. You will I know forgive me. I've Been told I will find before. you if I need to. I'm sure. Then you'll understand the message. To continue <sighs> my point, I could very easily give you what you ask for. It was only meant to be a boon to the law when the time came. But if you're as reasonable as you say, then I would like to take you at your word that should you be needed for a favor, you might make yourself available to keep that reputation. I do not hunt for free. And while this may be a favor, this is a job I am already contracted to do. I don't suppose there is anything else you have to offer me, other than what I'm sure would be a thrilling chase. Things are very shortly going to get worse here. Your masters are not going to be pleased. They're about to lose a lot more than just this little shipment. A lot more. And unless you're willing to murder an entire dynasty and their men, because they are involved, same as we. And you're going to have your work at Alfian. This is a situation where a man should cut his losses. <laughs> it's the 
been a while since someone tried to negotiate with me. Not bad. So then, you give me what I want. I don't have to spend any more time tomorrow. in this backwater. And all for a favor one day, is that right? That is correct. All for a favor, perhaps to deal with someone that may give you trouble. A name. I am not sure what their name is yet. All I know is what their creed is. And if they have their way, there will be no trade that you are used to gaining your coin and reputation on protecting. There will be no contracts for you or your kind anymore. As a rule of law will be quite red and gold. I see. <laughs> and what's a boost to your reputation that would be if you were successful? <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. I have one additional condition then. Understand. If I am to do this, if I am to walk into the lion's jaws, place a snapshot, I'm sure I can count on the view to be there as well. As if we'd be anywhere else. <laughs> ah. You know, you may be the boldest man in all of Gradia. I've survived this long. Might as well keep trying to do what works. If this is what you've been doing, then you've been doing nothing but cheating death since you got here. Lucky me. Lucky you. Well... If you can keep your terms, then I will have what I came here for by tomorrow. I think this can be arranged. And if that is the case and you agree, I can bring this to you myself. There is a schoolhouse outside of Nordis. It is not frequented by many people. I can just come and bring a wagon along the road and hand it off to you. I will send people. You will not see me, but I will be there. Don't you worry. And you are a man of your word, are you? Once the bloodhound takes a contract, I do not stop until it is fulfilled. That being said, I need your hand. Unclad. Hmm. 
Now, I will remember you. I do not forget blood that has been spilled on my armor. So you can be sure, one way or another, our contract is sealed. Good. Then if you're so certain, you know what I mean, what I said. The rest of you take heed. It is not often, but a large group will follow a madman into the abyss. And all of you come out unscathed. <laughs> you all hear the clatter echo slowly through the room. As the door opens, the tense air slowly fades with the chuckle that leaves you all echoing my blood disappeared on his armor what it faded i saw it with my own eyes the blood <clears throat> that he took from me onto his armor disappeared i watched it I know not what madness that is. Guess he's not bluffing then. What kind no. of man is that? There's still men around. Just a warning. Armed or not. Time to leave. Agreed. I think we just danced with death and made our way out. <laughs> For now. Oh boy. That went about as good as it could, I think. As much as I wanted to use that as evidence against the Capitano, we didn't have much leverage for anything else. But if that man keeps his word, we're going to have a strong, I don't want to use ally, asset. Mind if I have one back? Coming. Go ahead. Do you think you'd make good on that? Whatever that showmanship was? He seems too proud not to. But so mm. I'm right. Can he even stand up to that, though? To what? An inquisitor. The man's reputation is odd, and he wears two sabers on his hips. I'm not sure. Every bit else. What does he just like blade want from you? He wants what we took from the Capitano shipments. Mm. If you remember the Golden Lion, he was fucking terrifying. Right. 
As soon as we get almost to town, make sure you get out of that armor. Hey. And remember, they're looking for this outfit. I'll hop off right before we go to town. Slip in through the, the cracks in the wall. Let's head back. Hi. Right. You're secure. Mm. Mm. gotten a lot better at it. Huh. Practice, I guess. It's easier when I'm writing in file, he kind of knows yeah. what to do. By myself, he'd be all over the place, probably. Hmm. I have one lesson left, and then I'll be able to take him out whenever I want. That's good. Teach him tricks. Look at you learning a new skill. Huh. the ribs though, I'll tell you that much. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be, it's not your fault. I guess I owe you one. <laughs> yeah. It's alright. Part of it, Sarah. I'll pay you back. Mm. We look after each other. That we do. If I could remove one thing from the surface, it would be that fucking sun. <laughs> we would have a field day. <laughs> no days, only night. We would have a field night. The drow would reign supreme. A field night. A forever field night. Maybe one day I'll shoot it out of the sky. If anyone's going to pull that off, Sarah, it's going to be you. <laughs> I mean, we really don't know how far away it is. It doesn't look that far away. Ladia has you some can theories, see it, but feel I don't it know if I subscribe to it. I'll pull off here so you can get off. Yeah. See you inside. Hey, hot stuff. Looking for a ride? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Watch it, Aldo.
You know, Pei, it's just for you. You promise you come buy more, yes? No, no, I, I never accept, I never accept <coughs> coins. Not from me. I'm not sure if it's your thing, you but Clifford back. has free roam if anyone's okay. interested. Yes. Just saying. Yes. 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 Alright. <sighs> Nobody need your help tomorrow getting around safe when we're ready to go. Last thing we need is get out of those smoothing that kind of product. Do you want to feed him? Need to brush him down more. Like, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> There's not much to say. I have well practiced Do harder. skills compared to your other compatriots. He's just come back you from a ride. The tail. Do what with it's the tail? tail? I like his tail. <sighs> War horses, at least cataphracts, have their tails in buns and they loop them around and they chop them short. It keeps it out of their legs. I know, the strange lady is touching you, it's okay. Thank you for I think he's more upset about you brushing his hair the wrong way. It's fine, I'm going with the grain. But who's oh, a good boy? Grain. I don't think he likes that. You're going to love Seed. Good boy. Who's the blonde? He's a friend Scenery from out of town. In the house. <laughs> Good girl. A friend from out of town. Yeah, his name's Marcus. How have you not met him? Yeah, I'm right here. Hi. Oh my god. <clears throat> I have some rum in my arm and a cup in my hand. Would you like some? What kind of fucking question is that? Gimme. You're not gonna poison me, are you? Come on. What do you mean? The only come thing on. you're gonna get poisoned is alcohol poisoning. <clears throat> exactly. You've hit me with a 500 proof thing before. Hey, you liked it. Yeah, because I don't remember it. <clears throat> Thank you. Hey there. Hey. Um, Good shit. Wanna grab drinks with, uh, her? Who? <laughs> Other blonde from out of town. <clears throat> oh, is that where she's going? I, I don't know. They said they were going to talk, and I don't know if we were going to get drinks, I don't know, celebrate, uh, maybe on a job well done. She's not really it. that kind of type. I think she needs to sort of... Also, things, things are kind of awkward between us. I was hoping you could help. Okay. Um, she's not really a people person. I came, off, I came off of it strongly, so I'm trying to... Give me that. What? Hey, that was mine! Did you injure your shoulder yesterday at all? I'm afraid to say no. This one. Why? Answer my question. I did not injure it yesterday. Ow! Thanks for leaving me sleeping on the roof. He was so comfortable. You look really. Leave me out in the open like that. You are fine, it's our roof. You look tired, I didn't want to, you know. Wake me up. Alright. I was tired, but you can wake me up and I can go sleep in a bed. Okay, I'm sorry. That was your ride. Really hard on the ribs. I'm still not fully there, but... Under grease off of your shoulder. What is wrong with you? When we're in a single file like that, he's usually he pretty good. Fall. Yeah, that's fucking good. That would have hurt like a motherfucker if I did. What, Nate, it's a sloppy job. I think you rode great. Thanks, uh, Drinks? Would you like to get drinks? Alana. Super chill. 
I could try. The moment it gets crowded, I'm out. Okay. All right. Sure. Where to, Marcus? Uh, the tavern or the cool other tavern? Other tavern? People think of this forge as a tavern, unfortunately. We shouldn't mill around the forge. Let's um, grab some drinks and go somewhere. Or my place. This is your thing. It's quaint. Yeah. Let's get some. Let's get some drink. All right. Um, let's see. You miss your chance for free rum, but yeah. Would you be wearing this around? Free rum. My armor, yeah. And I did it up so tight, I'm kind of scared to undo it. If I'm honest. You think you're gonna fall out of it? I think my ribs are gonna fall out of it. No. I'd like some. There's something very unappealing about that offer. Any man that's willing me to give salami or meat at half price is not a good man. Okay, okay. Oh, it's not good salami. Is, uh, salam, cheese. Yeah, a nice selection. Yeah. Okay, that costs. Out of curiosities, is the drinking at the tavern just a you guys thing? Can I take a lawn? I think we're having a little private get together. Sure thing. All right. <laughs> I'll uh, see you around. <laughs> just a little bit of everything. Yeah. What? Oh, what? Spicy. You always just stare. Yeah. Is. <laughs> Cheddar. It's weird. You want cracker? I have cracker. Oh yes, but okay. cracker. Okay. How about a uh... little bit of cracker? Always a bit of nut. <laughs> oh, enjoy. <laughs> of course. You still there? You. Very good for <laughs> party. <laughs> yes, of course. Alright, I've got my uh, nice cheese and meat platter here. I'll get drinks. Alright. Widespread hunger. And of course these are all awful things. But even even still. Walnut. When it comes down to walking the path of being a surgeon and having to this keep up with that profession. goes a lot deeper than just that. You know my path. Finally, so some more stalking. You're a very good mm. man, Soma. Dangerous for everyone, Jack. But I, am um. I am not the only good man here. A lot of other people here can be too. Hmm. Clifford. Probably just put down some coin. Oh, Clifford. Heard, Do you uh, mind? Many good things. Yeah, good everyone needs food. Uh, uh, sh I got the f I got the food. Um, just drinks. Good drink. Uh, <coughs> what would you like for a drink? About some of the things that I have done. Uh, I'll have some to mead. To be honest, I could care less because the only thing that matters mead? to me most is for me to do what I need to do best. Yeah. Hi. Right back up and look at the hot sun the next mead. Day. She like mead. She oh, likes okay. honey. That they will sip or see a boat, Let's do a good honey mead. mead. Yeah. And what do you want? Let's just do all mead. <laughs> can get like a bottle. Oh, all mead? Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I got three tankards. Yeah, no. okay. I'll grab you I a definitely bottle. I need that fucking bathhouse. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to let the surgeons yeah, I know. Will... I will walk with you, Summer. <sighs> hmm. Of course. I will also let Lily know. I think Lily might be back right on over there. <laughs> I still gotta let the other surgeons know just in case. I've gotta let them know where I am. Right. That might be the given instance of where they come running up to Thank me. Oh, right, mm -hmm. yes. Ah, oh, thanks. How much are you? Uh, bottle. This is an uncomfortably large How much cup. is it normally for the bottle? Well, it's for the... a sipping cup. Is it inside of you? Say, oh, okay. 50 <laughs> copper. Oh, I don't know Say where it will be. That'll probably be good. Fucking thanks. drow magic. Thank you. Yeah. All <clears> right. <throat> Thank you. No problem. All right. Of course. Ooh. We have the choice of the nice flower fields outside or my place. Uh, outdoors or indoors. Flowers gives me headaches. That's fair. Indoors. Uh, that indoors. Day, Enjoy the drinks. Thanks, Thanks you, Clifford. Clifford. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if it were possible, that'd be nice. Hmm. Is it? Hmm. 
No, I don't think so. Mm. Alright. Well, if it is possible and if you want it. Uh, this is my place um, Don't get your hopes up <clears throat> Oh god he's dead uh, The air is uh, dead What are we gonna do? Uh, oh no Am I dead? <clears throat> I'm back. No. About time you woke up. <laughs> what well, year is oh, it? You're awake. I gotta go back out and come back in one second. Well, uh, this. Okay. Um. Oh, you've cleaned up since I was my last here. Single. Yeah, I've cleaned up. There's no more random hay on the ground. I put in some flowers that only exist without sunlight. Nice touch. Yeah, there's no Damn. windows in here, is there? Oh, I replace them and they perpetually die. Don't worry this about it. This is depressing. It. <laughs> I said don't get your hopes up. It's like off. a dorm room. Uh, have a seat. This is my singular, um, nice table. I'm... As a kitchenette. I'm gonna use your... Which is mm -hmm. your room? That's my room okay. right here. I'm just gonna use your bathroom one second. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, all over the walls, in the pillow, in your boots, <laughs> piss boots. Whatever. I'll pour you a drink. <clears throat> no, I haven't seen you a couple of days, Miss Orlando, but I'd like to get on the right foot. Uh, this time, if I come off a bit strange, I guess. If that's alright. I'm not really one for... <sighs> How do I phrase it? Hmm? It was a bit pompous. It reminds me of the people back home at court. If you could speak, like... I'm not a lady, even if that is your normal dictation. Ah. Uh, right, sorry about that. Don't mean to be too stuck. So, why you, then? Uh, why me? Yes. Uh, why me? What? Based up on all this. I think it's obvious with you riding with us today. Right. What got me here? I can give you the short version if you'd like. Um. However long. However long. Okay. Time to ensure a brokerage between when these two. The stations keep shutting off. <laughs> No, you're right. I, I assume terrifying. you're listening. I'll just, I'll, I'll speak as if you're here and uh, I have your full attention. Um, Thank you. Well, I simply must tell you, Miss Orlena, I'll just call you Orlena. It's, it's fine. Uh, I am <laughs> Sir Marcus Brooker, the worthwhile. Otherwise, you could just call me Marcus or some other crazy name because people don't like two syllables to a name. They just keep either adding it or shortening it. Marcus is fine. Better. <clears throat> I think okay. worthwhile is a title you're not allowed to give yourself, so how'd you get it? Oh, well, worthwhile is a title I've earned. Uh, formerly, I was worthless, as dictated by my family. Um, See. Not so <coughs> But I must profess to you, unfortunately, that I am not Erland the Guardian. I uh, hail from the land of Theosia. Go on. 
Um, I come from the town of Hollowbrook. Um, it's right outside of Sunmore. My parents had wanted so me to become a knight. Empire. N no, uh, formally, unfortunately. I see. Well, my parents had conscripted me into the army in hopes <clears> of <throat> me becoming a knight to honor their name. I said I didn't want that. They did that anyway. And the military had put me into a death camp for non humans. Bit of a bother, that one. I took to cleaning. I made soap. I made sure not to be tainted by my fellow brothers in arms. And I escaped and made my way to Ireland. And that's when I met some cheery fellas in that come from Ledford. I didn't like what I saw when going through, what was it? It was Gwen. I had walked through Gwen on my way here. It was not pleasant. So when I'd heard that a lord of said country was doing everything in his power to get his land back, well, I'm a bit of a romantic. I signed up. It was a proper mm. time to become a knight. Just not for the homeland that I thought I was doing. And so ever since, I've tried to keep <laughs> this lad alive. I think I've done a good job for the most part. And with all the harrowing trials and tribulations that have come with it. And so here I am. Look at the sun. Looks like I have somewhere else to be. Oh. Um, alright. We'll, we'll see you later. <clears throat> That's fucking unfortunate. I thought we were gonna have a thing of it. Yeah. Well, this doesn't clear up the awkwardness at all. No. God damn it. I kind of hope she'd stick around. Well, now that it's soft end, you want to get fucked up? <laughs> well, <laughs> if we're not having uh, this uh, conversation... Well, we can well, I was going to say we could invite, uh, right. you know, Sarah and Torty since they wanted to hang out anyway, and you could try and clear up your thing with Drow. Yeah, I think we should do that. Let's go find the Drow. Hi. Right. Sure. Have them here or somewhere else? Uh, it's up to you, buddy. We can go anywhere you want. There's more frames in here. I can see there is. that at night in here. Yeah. <laughs> if you true. want to bring them here. Or the bathhouse. Hmm. Probably in here. Probably here. Okay. I'm Let's, gonna. I'm gonna. You could see better. I'm night. gonna stay because I need to like keep my hands. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Right. I'll go try to find people. <sighs> well, that went about as well as fucking expected, I guess. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we figured as much, Spricks. <laughs> I thought you were actually fucking asleep earlier, Spricks. <laughs> I was like, what do I do? <clears throat> Y'all warned me. I was on my way to finding you in Character Haven to be like, hey! Uh... <laughs> You wake a bitch up. You look so comfy though. You're like the book in the sun and laying back. I'm looking at that. I'm like, God, I wish I could fucking sleep like that. <clears throat> I went upstairs to check and she was like, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. She's, she's the best sleep actor I've ever seen. <laughs> TV out. <clears throat> I was just I was saying to chat how like chill it would be up there just to like sit on that little couch thing and just like chill. 
Oh, man. I've never seen somebody sleep so good. <clears throat> yeah, the people that I watch sleep don't sleep like that at all. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of people sleeping. <laughs> Now he knows the bottom imperial and is gonna stay far away. Yeah, I was, I was, I was hoping to get that out there and then like try and broker it, brokerage it between the two of them, but nope. <laughs> Kyle's kind of was like, hey, this, this, this is gonna be my time. I'm gonna, you know, like. I'll be the mediator between these two, and it went about as well as I expected it to go. <clears throat> Smashed glass bottle, oh my god. It's fine, we'll just have another honor duel. That's how we solve all our problems. <laughs> Just when I was turning away. Sneaky! <clears throat> it's a good vibe up there though, honestly. Mark has just left me alone in his house. An absolute batch pad. <clears throat> With all his furniture two inches of left. Yeah. 5% normal girl, 95% steel bitch. You need like 2% horse girl in there. I fit my fat ass. Yeah. That's how I fit my fat ass. Welcome to my little abode. We've got lots of ale and mead. If you like drinks, uh, help yourself. Where's the other one? Hell yeah! Which one? Hmm? Oh, she, she's busy. Um, Anything. She didn't want to be around Marcus anymore. We're working it out. We'll figure it out. Marcus, Marcus can I hey, sit on the edge we'll of your figure it out. Buddy, are you gonna yell buddy at me? it's so <laughs> tough. I know, man. <laughs> Look, we'll figure it out. <laughs> like, I told her where I was from, and she's like, I'm out of here. Like, <laughs> what, are, what are we doing? I respect her. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of hoping you'd hold off on that, Whatever. but it's here's, okay. Whatever, here's some, yeah, cheers. <clears throat> cheers. 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 To new friends. Cheers. To awkward Hey, that's bad meeting. luck, don't cheers. do that. You don't have anything, <laughs> Tink. Yeah. Tink. That's my Im uh. imaginary drink. Cool. Marcus, I'm oh, sitting no, on the edge of your flowers. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, these, these flowers, they don't need any sunlight. They grow... That's they They're definitely the seeing the moon right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, what do you mean? Oh. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> about her ass. Oh, yes. right. That's a bit uncouth of you, uh, mister. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uncouth. What does that mean? Uncouth. We're drinking. We're fine. Uh, <laughs> unbecoming of oneself? You're saying he doesn't clean behind his ears? I think I clean behind my ears. I don't ears. know if he does. Bad Shariq. My ears are spotless. <laughs> you gotta do that. They get crusty. What? Oh, we'll crusty? Oh, crusty. <clears throat> hmm. 
Mm. You too. Well, I'm clean. <laughs> I'm clean as a whistle. Yeah, he's a soap salesman. You. By trade. Also, I'm a clean neat. Right. I'm a neat freak. Never yeah. mind. <clears throat> I even clean under my uh, nails. Can you say the same? No. It's stu I wear gloves all the time anyway, so... <sighs> okay. It's so funny that you still wear those gloves. What do you mean, funny? They were a gift. They're ragged. Mm. Yeah, and I like them. <laughs> I'll replace them one day. I like them. Don't your hands get real sweaty? Because you're wearing it's gloves silk, all the time? It's silk. You need to let them breathe. Oh. Yeah. It's bears. Oh, I can't actually... Yes, it's spider silk. ...turn off my gloves on Yes, welcome uh, to my abode. Um, it's an absolute batch I wanted to get to know, pen. uh... ...drow better. <clears throat> so I wouldn't be so... Hmm. ...I guess, untoward you. Well, you that's know? a mistake inviting so, me. No, I got nothing. Fair, even though you may say it, you're not a mistake. Uh, Tori. Is there a, a what, Marin? <laughs> I'm a I didn't say that! I was saying that! Wait, what? Did I, did I misunderstand that? Oh. <clears throat> what? Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. That's not What's what I mean. What's going on? I missed uh. it! No, I missed it! <clears throat> I said it was a mistake inviting me if you want to get to know Drow better. And he's like, you're not a mistake! And it's like, I wasn't saying <laughs> that I was! <laughs> That was a leap. <laughs> I'm a wordsmith. How does this happen? I'm for someone I met. <laughs> you suck at speaking to me, dude. This is why the other girl the hates. That's that's the way. At, that's three times. You're out, Marcus. Swing and a miss. Three times. <laughs> what did I do? I don't know, buddy. <laughs> Speak apparently. I I I was here. I was ready to brokerage. You know. Uh, something between you two, and I don't know how. Help me out! Shuri. She didn't even Please. say anything. She just left. I tried. I <laughs> you need to give she it a second. Left. You need to give her a time. Give her time. She's All right, fine. She's not a person, people person, like to begin I with. I gave her a week. I I know, she's buddy. Gone. I know, buddy. Thank Are we you. done, Sarah? Thank <laughs> Can you. we restart now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start again. <clears throat> Go, your name's Marcus, your name's Tordy, Go. <clears throat> <laughs> Welcome uh, to my home. It's an honor to have you. Thanks. Uh, cool, yes. glad to be here. Thanks for the alcohol. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yay! Why, why is <laughs> Merrin like that one person that's like, they don't know I'm a monk in the corner of the room? <laughs> <laughs> They don't know I worship Asara. They don't know I'm Jade of the Night. <laughs> they don't know I fight crime, yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. They don't know I spend my nights fighting petty crime. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, Marin, we don't get to hang out much. It's good to see you. Would you like a drink? Yeah, we don't get to hang out. Take a seat. Take a drink. Okay, thanks. Oh, yeah. I need to make sure my light is not... Oh, you know, again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel that. Oh god, what are those, what are those sounds? I just remembered why we don't invite Mary <laughs> places. This is spiders? What? what do you mean? I <clears> love <throat> inviting Mary. It's on your shoulder! Oh. Get it off! Uh. <laughs> oh, is there spider silk? Got the back in her. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I, I couldn't see. What? <laughs> Get back in there. <laughs> what? What were you talking so, about? So Marcus... Huh? Anyways... <laughs> Yeah, Marcus man. wanted to learn a bit more about Drow and, you know, get, get like, oh, used to right. us and stuff. So, we They're figured... They're purple, we, yeah. they have red eyes, <clears throat> well, white hair... Um... Some of them have red eyes. No, I want to know more about you, and you can know more about me. That's not, that's not so terrible. No offense, Marcus. Please don't shoot him down again. Past. Please don't shoot him down. He needs this. Please? Don't <laughs> fucking look at me like that. Please? Please. Don't I need fucking friends. look at me like that. What? Fucking sad dog. <clears throat> I don't want to see. I don't want to see. 
<laughs> I don't want to feel pity please. for you. No. No, you don't have to feel pity at all. Do I need to learn anything about you to teach things about me? Is that like, is that how this works? I've never heard of this type of thing before. We're just getting to know each other. Is, yeah. that, is that so wrong? Usually when people tell me that, they try to stab me, so... Uh, no, that's... <clears throat> no. We come from very opposing backgrounds. Are you sure you right. want to learn more about us? I'd like to reach a middle ground. Is that possible? Yes, of course. I'd love to learn about Jow culture, or where you're from, <laughs> or what you do. Where do I begin? Start with the easy stuff. I guess. You know? Uh, sure. It's just casual conversation. There's nothing <clears throat> holding you. What are the cities like? What's your what's yeah. your drow's favorite food? You know? The everyday stuff, really. Yeah. I guess the best city is Uret, which is the capital. Uret. It's Ooh, very okay. big. I was... Explaining to Torti earlier, the Underdark is not just caves, it is... It could go from a tight squeeze around your waist to... A black void above your head. And you would not be even... <coughs> there's no stars down there. Mm. I guess. It's dark and cold and mean. You were talking about, like, there but wasn't much wind beautiful. down there. Yes, the... This is going to sound stupid, but the wind actually scared me when I first came to the surface. I, I thought something was trying to push me over. Hmm. That's not too surprising. I heard about dwarves that the first time they get up on top, they cling to the ground, afraid that the sky is going to eat them. Oh. That's kind of oh, cute, God. though. That's kind of adorable. Yeah. It's kind of cute, yeah. That'd be <coughs> they're, they're, they're not fall wrong. Up. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is... Experiencing it for the first time, you have all lived under it your entire life. Yeah. I have... No, that's, that's gotta to be fucking to weird, right? Surely. Just the... the you know, because if you're in a cave, you know there's a roof there somewhere, right? Well, yeah. you just it's think as, this is yeah. what it has always been, and it is always what is going to be for my people, so... Or at least that's what I thought was right. But... Mm. According to that... Is everyone aware of the talking snail? The what? What? Yeah. The what? Oh. The... Oh, God. They don't um, know. I... <coughs> Venora has a friend, a very okay, interesting thanks. friend, that we don't really know how he exists or why, but he says things sometimes. And if what he says is true, drow do not come from the Underdark. They were <sighs> on the surface first. Purple-skinned, red-eyed. That's interesting. Which changes everything. Yeah. If it's true. Um, so, talking about this now, the Underdark, the Drow, it is terrifying. Because I could be lying to all of you, and I don't even know it. You take it with a pinch of salt, then, I guess, since... Um, yeah. I, I think he's more curious about the, the culture and such, right? So if it's... Right? Yeah. Or your <coughs> family. Yeah. Oh lord. Oh like lord. Where did it come from? Or you can ask questions about me. Either one. That's good. The culture in the Underdark is abysmal. Oh. You don't have friends. You have allies and assets and acquaintances. 
lovers. Hmm. Different types of lovers. Ones that you actually love, and ones that you make think that you love them. And it is a constant struggle of cloak and dagger, murder, and smile. And it is never ending. There's no vacations or Gosh. dinners with your friends. But at least there's love, and that's good. Oh, yes. If they do anything right, they feel their feelings. All of them. <clears throat> There's no boundaries down there, I guess. No, no I'm more of a lover than a fighter. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. I think about bringing mostly you two down there and how that would go. Oh. You. I'd be killed. I think you'd be fine, but... Mm. You'd be fine, right? Um... In appearance, yes. In attitude, no. Oh. Torty, on the other hand. I don't Hi, know. I'm Torty. Hi, Torty. She would either be imprisoned as an oddity, sent oh. to the matriarch. Oh, boy. Or Shit. they would be disgusted. I don't know. So, same as above here. Cool, nothing special. <laughs> how would you need to change if you were to head <clears throat> down there? How would you fit in? Or how would he fit in to, uh, to change, right? He'd need to forget everything he learned from everyone. Oh, God. Ever. I, I would not fit in there at Maybe all. not forget it, but deny it. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. Submission. Okay. Discipline. So, so this there's a whole world down there. Huh. Yes. As as far as oh. as as Drow go, I'm shit. <laughs> like I'm terrible at it. Hmm. But you know. Be pretty good for a person, right? Yeah, I try to be. What even hmm. is a drow anymore at this point, really? I was gonna ask, yeah. <laughs> I have found more positive qualities in the misfits that I have found on the surface than I ever have in any of those wenches down there. Hmm. It's well, infuriating, good. really, spending your entire fucking life dedicated to a religion, politics, government, a way of life. To learn that you were just a slave the whole time. There was no freedom. I was more free up here in shackles than I was down there. So fuck the drow. Fuck what they're doing. Fuck their culture. I... That's not what it was. I think... We have a bit of common ground there, Miss Sarah. Um, Marin, if you didn't know, um, I'm from the land of Theosia. Um, I'm an Imperial, I'm a citizen. And yeah, it feels like you're chained down to the Inquisition and the obviously the High Emperor. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. Watching uh, your brothers and sisters torture uh, non-humans, which they treat like slaves. So I can kind of agree with you there. It's a lot better here um, mm. than over there. Uh, so I'm glad I made it this far. <laughs> this is the furthest I am from home. <laughs> so, and I'm glad I met all of you. You're the best outcome from them. The Empire. You. I'm, I'm not the best, unfortunately. You're far from the worst. Mm. I have killed 
and nearly been killed by multiple <coughs> different Imperials. Bowmen, swordsmen, macemen, giant fucking men wielding tridents made of gold. They are demons oh, in their own counts. fucking right. They claim that we are demons, but the way that they slaughter my people is very hypocritical. I thought demons were the ones that wielded fire. Well, I still keep the faith, although I'm not as insanely zealous as them. Like uh, they that practice. One fucking priest in town. The lector. If he right. yells um, at Kyle, uh, Shariq one more time. He said a hard hum earlier. Holy shit, he had words to say. He's saying saying mackerel. Yeah. yeah. It was just he was can't he wait to uh, purge the filth from these streets. Oh, he cannot wait to do the city a service. All that bullshit. The filth. So will have and nothing. We'll get back on no. his fucking boat, and we'll go back to Theosia. Right. What I was going to say was, we practice purity through purgation. I As in, know what that to means. keep one's soul... <clears throat> what is purgation? It's to purge something. It's to get rid of all bad qualities of something. To huh. make it whole. Yes. The lector is in the wrong. Clearly. Just mindlessly following the faith. Isn't he just but, old? Uh, that might be a factor as well. He's probably just set in the old ways. Right? Because that's all we used to do. But Imperials are starting to wake up, such as me, seeing that the Inquisition is terrible for what it's done. So there's plenty of good people in Theosia. It's just the Inquisition that's the bad, that they're the ones in the wrong. The rest of us are trying to get by, and they threaten us if we don't follow along. We we get burned if we don't follow. <coughs> We're the ones who join Sotar. There's indoctrination at a really so. young age as well, isn't there? Yes, indo indoctrination. That's all you've ever known. Uh, I mean, you, you saw a little bit when I was in uh, the previous town. I mean... I was in a rut. I was in a mess. I didn't know what to do. But now, I can see clearly, thanks to you all, that clearly that's all bunk. If we could just get the Inquisition out of our lives, there's a whole country of people that can do good. <clears throat> that's what I'm hoping for in this endeavor. What about the Emperor? That's what I want to see. <laughs> all humans I mean, die. The Emperor is obviously not a good man. But the less people that die, the better, because you don't know how much good they can do if they're just dead. I think you're Should right. Should a Marcus. second chance? We do have a lot in common. Coming to terms with the fact that the one we looked up to the most is a fake. Oh, the man's two-faced, clearly. And the matriarch <clears throat> is... She should have never been put in power. Trislana. Put in power, so... Trislana? What does she do? She can add the way to the top. Marcus. As they always oh, do. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like her. Thank you. Two shots of mead. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's turning tail and running instead of dying in battle. Joining her women. No, she'd rather stay in her... Safe little tower. Mm. I used to idolize her. Day in and day out. Even though the entire...
tired.